We're trying to simulate what may happen during a tsunami. You will never see a tsunami video where it's clear water going and impacting a structure. You see houses, cars, uh, shipping containers, boats, unless you're right on the coast. When you get a tsunami or a storm surge, you're not getting a wave impact. You're getting a big steady flow rising higher and faster than you would ever expect to see it. My main focus is on tsunamis. What we're trying to do is make sure that we're ready. And the only way we're gonna do that is by understanding all the different ways that our structures may need to respond uh, in that time. What we decided to do, scale that down and put together a structure that can capture kind of the two main things that we're looking for with a tsunami, and that's debris impacting the structure. If a tsunami were to come through and wash out all of the, the lower walls, you may be left with something like what we have here. And then the subsequent damming effects where the, it hits and it gets stuck. So the students, Haley and Nikki, designed this setup. The white plastic that you see in the videos, and the debris can represent shipping containers, logs, cars. They're, they're stiff enough that we're able to see when they impact the structure, what momentum is imparted into the structure. Definitely seeing like two newtons of damming from that one piece. What we were hoping to be able to do is embrace the chaos how the arbitrary debris field, random debris field, because there a way that we can you know, predict how does it interact with our structure. Ideally, what we can do is improve the resilience of coastal infrastructure. I mean, I think there are so many questions still about how a tsunami affects various structures, and we're hopeful that we can help fill that gap so that one day when it does come, and it will come, um, that, that we're ready.